You're watching Dog Your Musings, and today I'm going to be talking about some books that I'm excited to read this summer, and one that'll be coming out in September. So yay, things to look forward to. Our first book is called The Eyes Are the Best Part, and this is a book that focuses on two themes that I love, food and revenge. And this book follows a young woman and kind of like a family revenge plot. It seems really interesting. It's supposed to be a really fun psychological thriller. I'm looking for some more genre plotty books, so I think this will be a really fun one to kind of get sucked in to the story. Another book that comes out this summer is Tyrangelis. Now, this is kind of labeled as a tragic comic, and this follows a young Iranian American family that is a about to have their whole life kind of on social media in a reality TV show. But just before the show airs, all of this family drama comes out to the surface. Now, I love plots that have heavy drama. I love a family saga. And so I'm really excited to see what this story is. It seems like in the reviews about it, it seems like it's just full of like gossip and intrigue and it seems really fun. And I, I love a book about a reality TV show. So this will be another really fun read to read on the beach. Another book that's coming out this summer that I'm really excited about is called Pink Slime. Now, the author of this book, Fernanda Trias, was actually kind of labeled as one of the Latin American sci-fi authors to watch out for. So I'm really excited to read this book. This book focuses on plagues. It also focuses on like futuristic food and algae, I guess. So I guess another fun book to read at the beach. Filthy. Absolutely filthy. If I'm thinking about all the algae that are in the water. The tank is clean! I don't know. I love sci-fi. I feel like I don't read enough of it. I feel like when I'm thinking about genre books, I usually tend towards psychological thriller and horror. Um, so I'm really looking forward to reading more sci-fi this year. And I'm really excited to pick up this one. It seems really interesting and genre bendy. And that seems really fun. Okay. And then the next book is called The Coin, and this book follows a young Palestinian woman who is drawn into like this fake Birkin scheme. It talks about classicism, but it also talks about beauty and love, and it's all full of like drama and intrigue. And this is written by a debut author. Her name is uh, Yasmin Zahar. It all surrounds itself around statelessness and the reviews about it seem like it's written in a way that is very just like thoughtful but also like just a fun story to read. So I'm looking forward to reading that one too. And then finally, this last one is a book written by Mariana Enriquez whose short stories are ones that keep me up late at night. Um, and she has a short story collection called A Sunny Place for Shady People, which comes out in September. And I'm really excited for this book, but I might have to wait until October to read it, just because I feel like it would be a really fun book to read around Halloween. It's another one of her like really kind of scary short story collections. It'll be probably in line with her other work, Gritty, disgusting, disturbing, and it'll be a very interesting read right around the fall time. So those are the five books that I'm looking forward to reading this summer and this fall. What are some books that are on your list? What are some books that are on your <laughs> TBR that you've been putting off too long? You're currently perched on four of them that I've been needing to read for the past three months. So hopefully I'll get through this stack before the next stack of books that I just talked about comes out. But I don't know, it's a fun problem to have to be excited about the books that you need to read. Anyway, you've been watching Dog Your Musings. I'm Monica. Happy reading. <laughs>